deep in the forest of Albion lay the small town of Oakvale, unchanged by time and untouched by the sword. Here lived a boy and his family, a boy dreaming of greatness, but one day being a hero. Sometimes he imagined himself as a noble knight or a powerful wizard. And other times he dreamt he'd be an evil warrior. But in all his dreams of greatness, he could not possibly imagine the power of the destiny that lay before him. Come on, wake up. Daydreaming again, were you? Just like your mother, mind always wandering. Well, let it wander off to find your sister, will you? She's out playing by the Barrowfield gate. Remember, you haven't given her a birthday present yet. Don't tell me you forgot to get her one. Well, I'm not bailing you out this time, son. Hmm. I'll tell you what, I'll give you a gold piece for each good deed you do around Oakvale. That should be enough to buy her a present. Now, get moving and stay out of trouble. His mother can't keep still. <laughs> With some woman, I don't doubt. I run his house, bring up his children, if you find. Honestly, where's that good for nothing husband of mine? I'm just... He was irritating me, playing with my sister and her stupid teddy bear. No, he won't give it to me. I told him, if he doesn't do what I say, I'm gonna make his... I want more pocket money next week. Let me hear some good... Hello, lad. I'm a 
Some little... And it seems you haven't got her a present. It just so happens that I have a wava not... Guarantee! I'm afraid you seem to be short of... Just three gold coins is all I ask, and your sister will love them. Remember, your father will give you money if he hears good reports about you. Trade girl. I hope you bought your sister something nice for her birthday. Baby toys and little girls. Ow! Hey, get off! Ow. I'm sorry, I'll leave him alone. Just please don't hit me again. Thank you. You stopped him good. Thank you. Here, I'll let you look after Rosie. She'll be safe with you. Well done, lad. Here's your award for those good deeds. So, have you got enough money for a gift for Teresa? Quickly, give me three gold pieces now. I'm afraid you seem to just remember you. Oh, oh, thank goodness. Listen, lad, could you do me a favor? I've got to, you know. Answer a call of nature. Oh, stay here and watch this stock for me. Just stand between those two stacks and don't move. I'll put a good word in for you when I get back. Right, won't be long. My cousin says that the barrels in these warehouses might have stuff in them. Quick, while he's away, smash his barrels up and see what's in... Unless you're too scared. Unless you're just a big blubbing girl. Come on, let's go and break stuff. Are you just gonna stand there like a lemon? But being good is so boring.
Where's that filthy layabout? <laughs> With some woman I don't dare. I run his house, bring up his children, and what do I get in return? If you find him, let me know, won't you? Look, there's a little swine. I'm going after him. Right. I've heard reports that you've been doing bad deeds. Destruction of a person's vendor, dereliction of sentry duty, despite having been asked nicely. That sort of behaviour is not acceptable. If you were older, you'd be apprehended and fined by the town gut. You need to decide if behaving like that is worth it, my young friend. I'll leave it at that for now. But think about what I've said. I hope you haven't forgotten what day it is, like you did last year. I'm sorry if I woke you up last night. It was another of those dreams. I was standing in this field when something happened, but I can't remember what. Never mind that, though. I'm still waiting for my present. Still quickly, give me three gold. I'm a fool. Just women. Come here, my. What? Uh, oh. Look, Sonny, keep your mouth shut about this, right? My wife's at home with our little ones, and I'm supposed to... But a man should be entitled to do what... Tell you what, if you keep this little secret, I'll give you a gold piece. Good lad. Here, my advice to you. Look after... Oh, come here, my little sand goose. Oh, you're so romantic. Ooh, you luck quickly. Give Young sir, they are yours. Wish your sister a happy birthday from me now, won't you? Stock up What? You again? I'm hearing of your mischief de dereliction of central. chocolates. It's just like my dream. Come on, let's go home. Mother will be back for my party any minute now. Wait, there's something wrong. Bandits! <laughs> it's really happening. They're here. You've got to hide. Evil had come to Oakvale. Bandits wielding torches and steel, slaying and burning all in their path. Blood-red flames lit the night 
as the villagers screamed and begged for mercy, and soon their bodies filled the streets. Then the raiders reached the last house, where the boy and his family lived. It was them they had slaughtered so many to find. The father fought to protect his kin, but he was no warrior, and fell mortally wounded. The bandits ripped the house apart, but could not find the boy. Through torture and threats, his mother and sister remained silent, and their furious attackers took them both. From the nearby woods, the boy watched as all he knew was taken away. His whole life was crushed to ashes. He was alone. <laughs>